Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I thought it's time once again just to do a quick summary of a couple of the brand new features that Microsoft is busy testing and working on in Edge Canary, which as many of you know is a preview version of the Edge browser. And uh, at this stage though, um, these features haven't made it to my part of the world, which is quite common. Um, a lot of the brand new features that uh, do get tested in Canary browsers are on a controlled rollout and in some cases don't make it to certain regions but nonetheless although i won't be able to show you the features in real time leo over on reddit has kept us up to date and uh, just to have a look at some screenshots provided which will give us um the general idea of, of war of more or less what to expect um regarding these features now the first one here as we can see is microsoft is working on I'm adding acrylic to the flyout menus in the Edge browser. And acrylic basically means it gives the menus and aspects of the browser a transparency look and feel. And yeah, we can see um we can see a bit of that underlying orange through the menu and yeah, a little bit of the blue. So um, obviously Microsoft thinking of adding acrylic once again to uh, the Edge browser for desktop, which will give the browser a more Windows 11 look and feel once again. And then moving on to the next, um, this is an interesting one, which is part of the system and performance page and section of the browser. And it's called background tabs summary. Now, currently, um, this is a dead feature, which is quite common when um, features do roll out and it is early days. But the description will give us a idea as more or less what to, be, what to expect when the um, feature becomes functional. It says, a resource usage summary of your background tabs with actions to improve performance. So obviously this has got to do with your sleeping tabs and then you get actions that will help you to improve performance. So that's going to be an interesting one to watch. Um, here's another interesting one, enable mouse gesture. Uh, this is to do with mouse gestures, which isn't actually a new feature in Edge Canary per se, but uh, it is available now in English. And yeah, it says you can configure mouse gesture, turn on and off mouse gesture, configure gesture settings. And if we head to the next screenshot, yeah, we get our actions and the different gestures you can set for your mouse. So um, obviously you can configure those gestures for your mouse to perform different actions uh, in the actual browser. And then moving on to the next, this is to do with the favorites hub and menu where as we can see, there are options now when you click on this little uh, setting in the actual hub, we get a list view, small thumbnail view, and a medium thumbnail view, where currently that's not the case in the stable version. And heading to the next screenshot, here's a thumbnail, and here's some other um, examples of those thumbnails. And I actually think that'll be a nice improvement when it does, and if it does roll out to an up and coming stable version. And this is very similar to what we get uh, in the power bookmarks uh, in uh, Chrome Canary, which is part of the side panel. So obviously uh, Microsoft um, trying to keep up with Google when it comes to um, favorites and bookmarks with those thumbnail views. And then uh, the last screenshot for the purpose of this video, just to give us an idea as to what Microsoft is working on. Um, yeah, we can see the vertical tab layout when you uh, change your browser layout to vertical tabs. Um, the close tab button has been moved to the left side. Of those tabs where currently um, it's on the right so be moved to the left and apparently this is only available when vertical when the vertical tabs pane is unpinned so if it's pinned uh, you won't get these little close buttons but if it's unpinned then those now have been moved from the right to the left just making it a little bit more accessible um, in the vertical tabs on the left, which I think does make it a lot quicker and sim simpler to close those vertical tabs. So that's just a couple of the changes and improvements that Microsoft is busy working on and testing uh, in Edge Canary, as mentioned, which were spotted by Leo over on Reddit, which just gives us a general idea as more or less what to expect um, if those features do roll out one day to an up-and-coming stable version. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.